Hey guys, right here, FA2012 BMW 328i Sportline. And today, I'm gonna make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it. Show you the features, inside and out. So, Here's the key fob. Let's go ahead and start it up first. All Sportline models actually get this red highlight around the key fob itself. And there are puddle lights underneath each of the door handles. This car does have keyless start, so just have the key fob inside the car. Put your foot on the brake and press the start button. This car has 1378 kilometers. Nice leather steering wheel with sport grips on the side as well as red stitching. This car comes with an 8 speed sport automatic transmission. To put it into drive, press this unlock button, push it all the way down. For neutral, push it once up without pressing the unlock button. And for reverse, press the unlock button again and push it all the way up. Once you put the car into reverse, a parking sensor diagram will actually show up on the iDrive display. Also, if you put it into drive, then push it over to the left. You have your Steptronic manual shifting that you can that you can um, shift via the plus and minus right here or the pedal shifters on the steering wheel. Also, if you don't use the manual shifting, if you push it, just plainly push it over to the left, you just activate your sport mode as well. And for park, just press the P. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn on the hazards. lights, fog lights, this car does have front and rear fog lights as well as automatic lights and wipers. Take a look at the engine. This car has a new mechanism whereby um, pull the release once to release the engine cover and pull it another time to release the catch holding the engine cover to the body. All four windows in this car are automatic. LED indicators on the side mirrors. It is a first for BMW in this design department. Sport line badging on the front fenders. And this car comes with 18 inch alloy rims with Goodyear tires. Auto leveling by Xenon headlights with LED daytime running lights. Front fog lights. Front parking sensors. Matte silver highlights around the fog lights.
This car comes with a 2 liter dual overhead cam, 16 valve, turbocharged in line 4. This car does have BMW's twin power turbo technology with twin scroll turbo charging, Veltronic, double Venos, as well as high precision injection system. This car produces 245 horsepower at 5000 to 6500 RPM, as well as 350 Newton meters of torque from 1250 to 4800 RPM. This car can go from 0 to 100 km an hour in 6.1 seconds and has a top speed of 250 km an hour. Combined fuel consumption for this car is 6.3 liters per 100 km and the car emits 147 grams of carbon dioxide per kilometer. LED rear lights That's your rear fog light Rear parking sensors LED number plate lights As well as black chrome dual exhausts. Storage pockets speaker, mirror controls, window controls, window lock, your rear sunshade control, your light controls, this controls the brightness of your interior at night, storage area, right here you have your boot release button, BMW Sport side sills, And the driver's seat in this car is fully powered with your two-person memory. This is for your side bolstering. This is for your seat back. This is for your seat position, seat height, as well as the inclination of the seats. So I guess we can go ahead and see how she revs. Right here, you have your dual zone automatic climate control system. Fan speed. Your individual modes for the driver and front passenger.
temperature control for the driver side temperature for the passenger side automatic maximum air conditioning air conditioning recirculation rear defrost front defrost and right here you have your iDrive screen that is controlled using this um, set of controls right here that includes the media radio menu tele telephone as well as navigation shortcut buttons as well as the back and option button as well as this knob in the center that um, you can push up down left right scroll to the left scroll to the right and click enter just like that so let's go to radio first you have FM AM manual sorry manual tuning official fly FM I love clock you can adjust your sound system um, settings through here treble bass balance and fader go back to the main menu you have CD multimedia that includes um, USB Bluetooth audio streaming auxiliary You have your telephone, which basically has your phone to the system so you can make calls, use the internet, so on and so forth through the screen. The phone is connected through Bluetooth. And you can transfer your phone book, um, see your last redial number, your received calls, dial number. Then right here, you have your navigation screen, guidance, um, search your destination through points of interest, your inter interactive map, You can also change your map views whether you want it um, perspective, north oriented, or in the direction of travel. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Your um, destination input. Then you have BMW connected drive that brings you this host of features such as your internet, service status, BMW apps so on and so forth. You also have your vehicle information whereby if you select sport display it shows you this um, power and torque gauge like I showed you just now as you rev the engine it will um, move according to the uh, outputs that the engine is um, working at. You have the efficient dynamics display as well that shows you how um, efficient your driving is.
you have your vehicle status as well, telling you any faults with the car and when the service is required. You have your journey computer, onboard computer, owner's handbook. In addition to the paper manual that is given, you also have a digital one on, um, that you can refer through the iDrive display. Or you can search through the various pictures for information regarding your car. Or just a quick reference. Then, you have your vehicle settings whereby you can set your brightness of your control display, your time, date, language, unit, um, so on and so forth. Shell fuel and wind 20,000 ringgit to pay off your utility bills. Hi there, folks. I'm Kathakina Balusaba. Traffic is currently slow on the main road to get out of the city centre. But across in the peninsula, the peninsula. This split screen display, you can actually turn off. Just um, click the view, the knob to the right. Apart from turning it off, you can also change your different. Um, information that you want displayed, you can have your navigation information, onboard computer, um, efficient dynamics uh, display, or your entertainment details. Power folding mirrors. Auto dimming, rear view mirror. LED interior lights. Right here, you have your cruise control, steering wheel audio control, voice control. Navigation. Navigation. It's just as simple as that. Your um, volume controls, different modes. And you can change your radio stations using this scroll wheel on the steering wheel. You have your wiper controls, indicator controls. This button right here controls your information display in the instrument cluster. You have your outside temperature, time, range. Average fuel consumption, uh, instant fuel consumption, average speed, day, or just having the display empty. And right there, you have your BMW Efficient Dynamics um, fuel consumption meter. Central locking. You have your eight customizable stations. Eject button for the CD player right here to switch between your different modes FM, AM. Secret lighter. Cup holders little storage tray 
right here you have the um, traction control button you can turn it off right here and your different driving dynamic controls your sport sport plus comfort and eco pro eco pro basically um, sort of like controls your car's climate control and whatnot to give you a more efficient driving style also um, you can refer to the instrument cluster while changing your different driving modes Parking sensors activation. Your USB and auxiliary port. The steering wheel in this car is tilt and telescopic. You adjust it using this lever right here. And this car also has an auto start stop system for the engine whereby if you reach a stop such as a traffic light or a stop and go traffic if your foot is on the brake the car is in drive or neutral the engine will actually shut off to save petrol once you lift your foot off the brake and press the accelerator the engine will turn on again you can also disable the function by pressing the button that is located right above the start stop button Alright, so I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. storage space on the rear doors as well as a speaker and your window control storage pockets on the front seat backs rear air con vents power outlet And you have your LED interior lights for the rear as well. Also, the front and rear headrests are adjustable. Cup holders. There are a few ways to open up the boot. There's the button above the bonnet release lever. There's the button on the key fob. Or, there's also this button right beneath the BMW badge. Storage areas on the side, toolkit, cargo net, 
storage area down below as well The passenger seat in this car has the same adjustments as his driver's side, just that it doesn't have the memory setting. Also, you have manual tie support for both the driver and front passenger. Also, you have this same red highlight that is going around the dashboard that matches the red highlight on the key fob. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle tour video of this 2012 BMW 328i Sportline. Thanks for watching and goodbye.